Hey Lisa, can you do me a favor? A favor? Yeah, can you just humor me and look at my face for a second? Okay. Do you see anything? No. 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 What should I be looking for? Familiarity. I told you, I don't remember seeing you in that bar that night. Yeah, but I remember seeing you well before that. This isn't funny. It's not meant to be. Why are you being no, because so... because I need you. I think, I think you have me confused with somebody else. No, believe me. I don't. Look, I really want to get this flight over with and get back home. And I really don't want to call the flight attendant right now. But you're uncomfortable. Yeah. Very. Well then, Lisa, with all due respect, you know what the first thing about what true discovery really is? What? What do you want? For you to keep listening. I don't have to do that. JR! John Rubin! Your father, right? You gave that to him, what, last Christmas? Oh my god. I think the monogram's a great touch, but don't you think it's kind of a funny coincidence how he and I share the same initials? Open it. Open it. Quickly. See, to you, that's definitely your father's wallet. But to the flight attendant or anyone else you think about complaining to, it's mine. But for some reason, the stewardess, this young, distraught woman sitting next to me that I've never met once in my life, suddenly had this crazed obsession for it when I took it out of my pocket. Or something like that. What have you done with it? Nothing. As long as you keep quiet. But if you don't, Lisa, we might have another untimely tragedy on our hands. Do you understand? 